All right, so when going to the Getty Museum, I was not sure what to expect because for one, I have never been to the Getty before up until that point. And two, prior to taking this class, I did not know much about art, much less the history of art in general. But I did not let that discourage me and I used it as a motivation to help me dig deep into my knowledge of art. When walking around the exhibits, everything was very eye-catching and there was so much to choose from. I wanted to try something different, a piece that wasn't too popular or from an artist that was super well known. I wanted to really expand my field of art and get exposed to something new. That is when I encountered two drawings, Goose Girl by Emily Medes Pelican and Revere by Armin Point. They were small, nothing too extravagant compared to a super large scaled painting, no crazy colors splashing out at you. But yet, there was so much going on in both drawings and it really caught my eye to see something so straightforward to have so much to look at and also talk about. Now. Let me break these two drawings down for you in close detail so you can truly understand my point of view of these beautiful pieces of art. For Emily Medes' Goose Girl, it is an art piece that transcends the simple subject of matter of just one person through the artist's masterful use of color, composition, and also emotion. The painting, which was created in the early 20th century, captures a serene moment in the life of a young girl with lush blonde hair. While it may, while it may seem very dull due to the lack of colors at first glance, the painting holds a profound significance that resonates with the viewers on multiple levels. One of the most striking aspects of Goose Girl is Pelican's expert use of color. The soft, muted tones create a peaceful atmosphere, showing the sense of calm and having a moment of simplicity. The earthly shades of greens of the landscape blend seamlessly with the girl's neutral attire, which shows the harmony between the figure of her and also her surroundings. The subtle play of light and shadow adds depth to the composition drawing the viewer into the scene and creating a sense of intimacy. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, Goose Girl holds cultural and symbolic significance. The motive of a girl tending to its skis is a timeless archetype, deeply rooted into the folklore and mythology. She has been identified as the Goose Girl, who is the protagonist of a German fairy tale published by the Brothers Grimm in 1815. According to the Getty website, they state, the story of Goose Girl recounts the struggles of a princess who is forced to switch identities with her evil maid and take care of geese. The artist, Emily Medes, chose to depict the young woman with her protective charm around her neck. Her loss of this charm in the river causes her adversity. The Goose Girl becomes reminded to find joy and fulfillment in the simple acts of life, even when going through a tough challenge, to find a message that resonates across generations in the simplicity of the art. Goose Girl invites viewers to pause, reflect, and appreciate the profound significance of the seemingly mundane moments that shape our lives. Alright, so now for the next one, Armin's Point Drawing called Revere. It is an art piece that goes beyond the traditional portrait through its delicate quality and deep attention that goes into detail. Painted in the late 19th century, the artwork captures the essence of Helen Linder and a state of a complimented Revere, blurring the boundaries between reality and the reimagined. One of the features of Revere that really catch my eye when looking at it is points to use of symbolism and also the visual elements that are shown in the drawing. The composition shows rich, intricate patterns, lines that flow so freely, and also the delicate details that contribute to the atmosphere of the piece. Helen Linder, who is the subject of the portrait, is portrayed with a sense of beauty, her features softened with, with symbolic elements like flowers and flowing fabric. These elements elevate the portrait beyond the representation of just physical appearance, but it hints at a deeper, more angelic feel to it. The significance of Revere lies in the meaning of what is going on and what goes beyond what you would see on the surface. Helen Linder is not just a person on the page, she becomes a vessel of her four emotions, dreams, and contemplation. The title itself, Revere, suggests a state of deep thought of what is going on within the portrait. It shows the person really expressing something by just the look of her, but yet does not make it too loud. Point's portrayal of Helen goes beyond capturing her physical likeness. It captures a moment of inner reflection, inviting the viewers of the drawing to join the thoughtful experience. Point creates the portrait that transcends this subject. Revere stands as a timeless testament to the power of art to really push the motive of emotion, prompt introspection, and to transcend the boundaries of the physical world. Throughout my time working on this project, I have realized there was so much more that I was missing because prior to like what I mentioned at the beginning, I didn't know much about art in general when going to the Getty. I really had my eyes open to the art that I was being exposed to. I was surprised that out of all the art I was looking at, those two small drawings were the ones that really caught my attention the most. I was taken away to the close detail of what was being shown on a regular sized piece of paper. 
with so much going on in both drawings with such limited space. I was surprised that something like this was even possible to capture. And that was really what caught my eye. That was my experience with this project. I would definitely do it again, and I would recommend others that I'm close to to go to an art museum to explore something new that they have never been to, or just, you know, maybe look something online. You know, learn, explore, take something in, keep it in your head. Just take a few minutes or even an hour to just stare at a piece of art that really catches your attention. That is what how I see art as. That's just something to really take in, something to connect to, and just overall just enjoy the love of art.